I must say guys it sure feels good to be back in front of this camera I was on vacation for um, about a week yeah right at a week and then I've been battling a cold ever since then as you guys can probably hear in my voice and that is one of the reasons why I have yet to jump in here and get a video out in the last week and a half or so didn't want you to have to listen to my terrible raspy voice I'm on the downhill side of it now and I feel pretty good much better than what I did a few days ago um, but anyway uh, this particular hunt that you guys are fixing to witness is from uh, last weekend and or actually two weekends ago we were at the Real McCoy Ranch and there is almost nothing harder than battling the green brush and fields and pastures it was insanely difficult one of the most difficult hunting weekends I've ever experienced at the ranch because we've gotten so much rainfall and it's hard I'm not I don't want to complain because we really needed the 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 rain the real estate really needed the rain and so with that being said it, I enjoyed seeing everything green down there and it was very beneficial to the the dove fields that are that are going in um, we're gonna have a great dove hunting season and if you guys want to take advantage of that and be a part of that um, or any other sort of whitetail or exotic hunting all the information for the real McCoy ranch is down below I will be there to be your personal guide and even uh, put you in a video if you want to be now we had a fantastic group a um, couple weekends ago I can't say enough good things about all these guys we had Beto we had Jacob we had Joe and we had Marley and his grandfather uh, Mr. Rick in camp for a total of five guys and man we got to share a lot of laughs um, got to tell some stories and then make some some new memories and, and have some new stories as well um, everybody was awesome and everybody ended up going home with what they wanted and so that in itself is huge for us considering the lack of animals that we saw due to how green it was they didn't care about coming out to the corn they didn't care about coming out to the protein they just wanted to eat the green stuff <laughs> so it made it a little bit of a grind but we ended up getting it done the first hunt that i'm going to show to you guys here is joe's all dad just a stud of an all dad a 33 inch ram the biggest one that we've killed off the ranch we have seen bigger um, but just a stud of a, of a ram it was raining made it that much more difficult and also kind of miserable but i'm going to let some some clips roll and i hope you guys enjoy it Cut off the blind. Give him about 15 25 minutes. Um, knocked on another arrow just in case. We're already kind of pinpointing where he fell or ran into the brush. Um, hopefully, he didn't run far. The shot looked great. Um, just got the end part of the clip. Nothing crazy, but hopefully we can find him. Let's get on this trail. It's a little wet, so we're gonna see if we can find some blood. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god, dude. Oh can you hold him to the camera? Oh. Like perfect. Dude, I'm telling you, just the way we were, uh, we we're a little high elevated, guys. So that was a perfect shot. The way it went in and came out, um, just awesome shot, man. Joey, can you show him off for the camera a little bit? Um, guys, that's world class right there. Look at that. That is insane. That is a giant. That's a toad right here. Wow. Wow. Congratulations, man. It's just this ranch, man. This ranch has uh, that herd. Um, honestly, I'm just not trying to say this just to say it, but uh, the herd looks super healthy. All the animals were real active and uh, in the rain, and this it's just the way everything played out, man. Just super blessed to be here. But uh, nah, this ranch is just the Romacoy Ranch is 
It's the real deal. Look at this. This is a trophy of a lifetime. Giant awe dad. Thank you, Bethel. Thank you, Bradley. Um, for uh, you guys guiding out here. And uh, I don't even know what to say. It's just a stud. Awesome, he man. died instantly. He went 35 I, yards. I tried to put the best shot on him I could. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Dude. Look at this. Look at this thing. Congratulations. That is awesome, guys, right oh there. My God. Awesome. If y'all want to come down and get some animals like this, you just let us know. You guys are probably wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt. Well, it's because um, it is the next day here. I realized that I was running late to get in the stand to go hunting, and uh, so I had to jet before I finished this video. Um, but I'm going to finish it right here, right now. Unfortunately, uh, Beto bumped the record button, and we weren't able to fully capture that all dad that enormous all dad with a bow but that's okay um we still got the majority of it on video and i hope that you guys enjoyed that up next is marley and his grand grandpa rick um we by the grace of god alone were able to shoot an axis doe this uh, past weekend with as green as everything was it was unreal um, normally in the winter time and in the, the fall and in the spring we're good for seeing anywhere between 20 and sometimes 50 to 60 axis per sit we saw like maybe 10 the entire weekend it was rough they had so much green stuff to graze on that they didn't care about the corn once again and so um, it made made our job and uh, our hunt extremely difficult but as you guys are fixing to see um, we're cruising through the ranch and fortunately enough we spotted a doe bedded down um, way off she was probably 60 70 yards off up in the brush and she stood up and looked at us and Marley's grandpa made a perfect I mean a perfect shot and so I'm gonna let you guys check that out right now We did have one more just super stud of an all dad ram come out off the ranch this particular weekend. It was Jacob's ram that he shot with a rifle. Um, same kind of uh, scenario. We weren't seeing the, the usual numbers of all dad like we normally do. Um, we were still seeing anywhere between 15 and 20 a sit depending on the day or the time of day, I, I should say. But his was the same kind of deal. Um, we were cruising, spotted him in the brush, and uh, it was a quick bang bang thing, and he was able to put a really not really nice ram on the ground. Um, unfortunately, I guess for whatever reason, I did not download that footage to my computer, so I don't have it. Unfortunately, but what I will do is in the next video at the Romacore Ranch, you guys will get to see Jacob's Audad uh, shot um, all around. Uh, had a fantastic weekend with a great bunch of guys. We were able to put. Uh, three target animals on the ground to, to seal the deal and we couldn't have been uh, more thankful and more appreciative for the way that it all turned out. Um, we got all of these animals on ice very quickly because it was a pretty warm weekend. Of course most of the time it is in July in South Texas or June in South Texas. Um, it was July. July in South Texas. But I really appreciate um, everyone uh, over the weekend and everyone that uh, pitched in and helped out and helped made this weekend possible. We don't run nearly as many hunts if it's not uh, because of you guys, if not for you guys. And so we're very, uh, very thankful, very appreciative for those of you that are watching. Again, if you want to check out the Real McCoy Ranch and you want to see um, all the information, it will be linked down in the description below. The website is fixing to be up. It's so super duper close. Um, we're fixing to be able to go live with it very soon. So <clears throat> very, very excited about that. And you guys, well, um, y'all, it'll make it so much easier for y'all. You'll get to see all the pictures. You'll get to see some videos. You'll get to see the price list. Um, you get to see all kinds of things that is beneficial to y'all. And then you can also book your hunt from said uh, website, which makes it very, very nice. Um, if you guys, as of right now, want to book a hunt um, for this this fall, for this winter deer season. Uh, for the spring, whatever, uh, you can email me or you can sh shoot me a DM on Instagram 
however you prefer to do it. Uh, Facebook works as well. Link up with me on one of those social media websites and I will get you guys set up and booked in for a hunt. It is an incredible ranch. I have I loved all the guiding and time that I've been able to spend out there. It made some uh, great friends that have now turned into pretty much family for me, especially the, the ranch owner and, and his family. But once again, book your hunt. I'll come down, be your guide, and you'll get to be in a video if you want that to, to be filmed. Um, if, if not, that's, that's fine too. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being patient with me while I was on vacation and fighting this little bit of a chest cold. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in just a few days.